Hi, my name's Kent. I'm the creative specialist on the Google Web Designer team, and I'd like to show how to use image processing in Google Web Designer. This allows you to make automated changes to images, like adjusting the contrast or painting out parts of a photo. Right-click an image to select Image Processing, or you can do the same from the Edit menu. In the dialog, we see a list of operations at the top with different controls for each below. You can zoom the stage here. Auto Enhancement adjusts the brightness, contrast, and saturation of an image at once. No further controls, but you can apply the operation multiple times. And Undo, which is also Command-Z, or Cancel, or just close the window. Notice when I save an operation, a new library asset is created, leaving my original unchanged. The new file will be the same format as my original, except for the Extract Subject operation, which always creates a transparent PNG. I'll use a different image to demonstrate inpainting, which allows me to seamlessly remove unwanted parts of a photo, like this cloud. I can use the marquee to select the area, but I see it created an artifact here I don't like. So I'll undo and use Draw Region, which is like a paintbrush with a size control. While you're drawing, if you want to bail, just hit the Escape key, and this works in all operations. Then I can try a bigger brush size, and that looks a lot better. You can also continue editing more areas. Each time I release the mouse, the result is applied. Another new photo to show Extend Image. This paints in more content to make your image larger. It's limited to 20% in any direction, but you can use it multiple times if you need more. You can drag the handles, or enter values numerically, and apply when done. And you can keep going, making your image any size. One last operation I'd like to show is Extract Subject, where in this case, I want to cut out the orange to use without the blue background. Like Extend, we have Marquee and Paintbrush controls, but now we have Plus and Minus Paintbrushes, and you need to start with the Marquee first. I can select an area, or simply select the entire image. Next, I'll see the selection mask in red, and we can apply this now, or continue refining the mask first and then apply to see the transparency, then save, and like before, an edited copy appears on the stage. It's a transparent PNG, leaving my original JPEG intact. That does it for image processing in Google Web Designer. Thanks for watching.